Hey guys, Crix Lee here for Red Carpet Report, and tonight we are at the Paley Center for the Eureka panel. So let's talk to the stars and the creator and see how much info we can pump out of them. I love this outfit. This thing is awesome. Hey girl, the shoes. I love my shoes. I, my feet hurt just looking at those shoes. <laughs> But and you even did your toes. Oh my God, they that's so done adorable. I should, but I, I, I wear hippie sandals all day, so. <laughs> exactly, I was like, I'll dress up here, just don't shoot my feet. <laughs> so now we've been asking everyone in the cast, if we were to come back to Eureka one year later, what would your character be doing? I think Beverly would have started a pharmaceutical company that sprung out of her research of plants and herbs, and she would have the fountain of youth and medicines for mental illness. Well, that answered my other question. I was gonna say, if you could invent something, what would you call it? And you just told me the whole thing. So you, see, everyone at Eureka is a genius, people. Uh, you are intuitive, thank you very much. It's a brilliant word. Now, looking back on all the episodes and, and Colin couldn't even pick one he picked three so I'm gonna let you have three too when you when you think about all the seasons what were your favorite like two or three episodes oh my I loved Purple Haze how everyone was trying to when the truth came out do you remember Purple Haze it was this this um, cloud took over so people would speak their absolute truth and Beverly would say you know I'm sick of hearing everybody's problems being a therapist is a bit of a drag I love that. I loved um, Founders Day. I wasn't in it, but I thought it was an amazing begin of season, uh, beginning for season four and reinventing and going back in time in the period stuff I loved. And I loved um, Omega Girls that Sally Richardson directed. I, when she played Beverly, I thought she was the most amazing Beverly. I'd watch her on the set and go, oh, damn, she's, just keep her as Beverly. That was awesome. And she is an extraordinary director. So just having the experience of being behind the camera with her was priceless. Well, now, if you could take anything home from the set and you wouldn't get in trouble for it, because I've always asked actors, like uh, Mila Kunis was like, you know that rainbow footstool? I totally took that from that 70s show. So if you could take one prop or if you had a bag like Hermione and Harry Potter where you could just shove like a whole tent in there, if you could take a set home, what would you take home? A set or a prop or both? I would take home Cafe Diem and... No. <laughs> All the food in it, and our, our lovely Vincent, who is the, uh, one of my favorite characters on the show. And he'd be like, that would be my home. I'd live in Cafe Diem, Vincent <laughs> would cook for me every day, and I'd be very happy. And now, when, when thinking about characters and thinking about guest stars that have come in, whether they've shot one episode or they came in for like a five, six character arc, who was your favorite? Oh my gosh, there's so many. Well, I mean, Felicia Day is just extraordinary. I, I didn't know, I, I hadn't followed her uh, web series until I met her on the set. And then when I turned, tuned into the Guild, I was blown away. And I tell, I have a 21-year-old daughter, and I use Felicia as an example to all these young artists I know that if you believe in something and you want to create something, go do it. So she's an inspiration. So I'd say Felicia. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, it's funny that you said the guilt.